channel. So we just got done showing you how we make one of our recipes of slime using borax. And because it's our girls day, we figured, well, why not just do some more slime? We now have three of them because we made two of them last night. Yeah. And we are making some clear slimes. Sky yeah. loves to play with slime, don't you? Yeah. So and, much fun. And now we're going to make the um, pink glittery slime. Yes, we are. So what do we do first? We pull this glue into the bowl. Absolutely. So we are cheating a little bit because we bought the, the glue that already has some glitter in it. Um, but you want one half cup of the glue. Can I help you? Can I? You want to do it? Can you squeeze it? Okay, this might take a little while. So this is actually a six ounce container of um, glue. But by the time you actually get it all out, we don't even measure it anymore. <laughs> We don't even measure it anymore because we do this so often. We kind of know how much we need. But you want one half cup of your glue. Yeah. Because that's the same like one that we did was one, mm -hmm. two, three. And then we have this one right yeah. here. That's the pink one. Yep. And this one's like super fun to try to get out of the container. Oh my goodness. So again, we're just using Elmer's clear glue. And like I said, this one has glitter in it already. Yeah, we have a glue slime that we got from the doll store. The doll store's like right down the street. Um, like it has blue and glitter in it. And when you play with it, the, like the Blue griddle gets on your hands when you play with it. Yeah. Now what do we do? Okay, so now we're gonna dump in our water. We have one half cup of warm water. So you're just going to run warm water or hot water in your faucet, and we want one half cup of that, and then you mix that all together. So this would be the point in time if you want it to um, add in. Um, glitter or food coloring that's when you would do this oh we forgot our baking soda all right you want to add in one fourth to one half cup of baking soda careful honey because your baking soda is what makes your um your glue or your slime i'm sorry firm and okay. guys so I help? that's so if you mix it like it makes it more sticky and like you could place it and then it makes it into like turn slime. That's like, because right. if you just didn't mix it, then um, it would just be all watery and you have to, and you would have to like play with it all watery. Watery. Yeah. So then we're going to add in our activator. And for our activator, we are using saline solution. So this is one tablespoon of saline solution. Oh, Holy moly, now start mixing that up. Okay, and the, the kind we're using is Equates brand. You wanna make sure whatever saline solution you're using has uh, sodium borate and boric acid in it because that helps activate your slime. Right? And we're mixing it up. So as she's mixing this, we're starting to see it forming some slime. It's gonna start pulling away from the sides. You wanna show them? Can you lift your spoon? See, it's already starting. All right, so the more that you well, mix feels, it up. <laughs> it feels so gooey and like sticky. Yeah, so the more you mix it up, the, um, the more it like gets to turn like slime. That's right. So you're going to mix it, mix it, mix it. It's pulling away from the sides. It's doing a really good Mom, job pulling away from the sides. Did we make the slime for some time? And then you, do you remember that time when it just did turn out and then we had frozen slime away? Yeah, I don't know what we were doing that time. It was a bad day, I guess. Yeah. That was something else. Okay, so as you can see, it is forming our slime. So now... As you are mixing this, it's going to keep on getting um, less and less gooey and sticky. But if you need to add a little extra of your uh, saline solution, if you want it to be a little, a little less watery and sticky, you can absolutely do that. 
Just be careful with your activator because the more that you add, the firmer your slime is going to become. So if you want it to be nice and fluid, you wanna use that one tablespoon. If you want it to be a little bit more firm, where I like it to be a little bit more firm because it doesn't stick to absolutely everything, then you can add in a little extra of this. But that is it. So then after your slime is done, you can add in beads and you can make it, <laughs> you can make it your own. You can add in Barbie shoes that like Sky fun. likes to do, right? Yeah. Okay, so what you're gonna do now, let's add some Could extra I? saline. Go ahead. I think that's probably enough. You wanna do a squirt? Yeah. Um, okay, now Sky is gonna pick this up with her hands and start playing with it. And the more you play with it, the more it's going to set up and then it will be ready. So quickly about storing your slime. When you're not playing with it, you wanna make sure that it is in an airtight container so that it doesn't dry out and it doesn't. Yeah, because when you make a slime, you want it to not dry out so you could play with it. Absolutely, you wanna keep on being able to play with it. So we keep it in these little jars and Skye can play with it whenever she wants, right? Yeah. And that's it guys. So if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe below so you gain access to all of our future videos. Mom. To get notifications, you're gonna wanna ring that bell. Thank you so much for tuning in and take care.